everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center, and today we're going to take a walk around and inside the all new uh, Yamaha. 275 SD. Um, this is a pretty. This is obviously a new model from Yamaha. This is the first time they've entered the 27-foot market, um, and they definitely hit a home run when they came out this boat. Um, a, a lot of cool, unique features to the market. You know, a ton of value. Obviously, it's a premium-level boat, uh, but there's a lot of cool, unique features, and that just, you know, the values there. And again, as we climb, in, climb inside the boat, you know, just like Yamaha does on everything else, it's just the space utilization, maximizing the amount of space and usable space in a in a 27 foot platform you know you're going to see more space in a lot of 30 foot boats out there so um, you know let's take a look inside uh, before we touch on that uh, we definitely want to talk about the hull I mean this is a very very deep V hull I mean, I, you know, I'm, my standing reach in it can't even reach the top. So, um, you know, so just a very, very deep, you know, obviously well worthy for rougher water. Um, you know, we were out in it in rougher conditions today. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's really an unbelievable ride. Um, you know, so let's take a look. At the heart of every Yamaha now, but obviously it plays in, into play on the 275, is the articulated keel and the rudder system that they use. So, you know, just a big, you know, kind of hang down ex excess area here that helps you track um, straighter when you're you know, running down the lake. You have a rudder that, you know, adjusts as you try to steer the boat. And we're also going to talk a lot about once we get inside of the Yamaha drive system, which is probably the coolest feature on this boat is the Yamaha drive. So when we get inside, we'll talk about that. But um, we just wanted to show you the unique uh, hull configuration on this uh, 275 as well. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the 20, 275 bow. Um, so we have a very, very large bow, but we're not going super, super crazy. Um, so this bow is actually only a little bit larger than the 24-foot bow um, with the idea that we want to create a lot more space in the cockpit area. So still, you know, plenty enough space. There's obviously filler cushions that go in here, cool little flip, you know, accent features like a little flip down armrest, you know, but plenty enough space for two to three people easily to kind of lay out or kind of sit four people side by side. Um, you know, good sized roomy bow, anchor locker up front. As we move to the cockpit area, one of the cool, cool things that we're gonna start off with first is this head compartment opens up, gives you a very, very wide, large opening. You know, a lot of head compartments you're kind of struggling to get in and out of. Um, it does come with a porta potty. It also has some little shelving areas and little storage compartments inside there that, that are kind of cool. Um, but really the key here is the access to the to the door um, and you, you know even a bigger guy is not going to have any problem getting in and out of there if he needs to. So pretty cool design on how they created that door. As we get to the dash, we've got the floating digital 12 inch screen, which kind of floats up, you know, for a little bit better visibility. You've got your cell phone holder. Um, so all your dash controls are going to be controlled at, you know, with, with the touch screen here. You can use the uh, keypad or the little uh, dial there as well. Um, and then some of your quick things, if you don't want to get into your, your build, your blower, your lights, or actually quick access along the right hand side as well. Um, so, as you see on the steering wheel, probably the coolest feature of this boat, um, which is unique to Yamaha, and it's also unique to the SD model, all right? So, you know, there's three different models of the Yamaha 275s, and to be honest, the way we feel is that the the drive system, which is only available on the SD model, um, and we'll go over another differentiator, the SD here in a second, is, is definitely a key feature worth, worth making the upgrade to the SD model. So to keep it simple, what we're going to do, um, and we've got some video footage of this on the water as well, but think about if I turn, you just at the dash, you just turn the drive system on. When you turn the drive system on, Basically, if you're familiar with Yamaha's wave runners, you've got the right trigger, which is going to be forward. You've got the left trigger, which is going to be reverse. And then the steering wheel will only go 135 degrees. So it's not going to let you oversteer it. So it really allows you to kind of pivot the boat and you know very easy and effortless without really thinking um, it's, it's very very intuitive I mean I was out there and about th after about 20 seconds I kind of had it figured out and dialed but a very very easy system to use about docking the boat pivoting the boat not having to worry about forward and reverse because your forward and reverse are literally left trigger right trigger so you don't have to 
worry about throttling back and forth and changing speeds and stuff like that. It obviously also limits the speed. Um, it'll let you go, I believe, 3,500 RPMs in forward, 3,000 RPMs in reverse, so you're not gonna be going super fast. So, to be honest, I actually, when we were idling around the marina, I actually just turned the drive on just to idle forward and going straight. So I was just using the right trigger to kind of control my speed. Um, and uh, eventually as we docked, we used the left trigger to dock it. So, um, you know, very, very intuitive system, unique to Yamaha and unique to this 275 SD model. But that is a big reason why this boat kind of dominates because nobody else in that 27 foot range really has a easy dockable system. You know, some of them are dual engines and stuff like that, but you know, whether it's outboard or whatever, it's you usually aren't seeing the, um, you know, the thruster technologies and some of that until you get up into the, you know, over 30, 32 foot range. So again, a very, very cool feature with the Yamaha Drive. So there's really three differentiating features between the 275SD and the 275SE, which is the step below this model. Um, there's a $15,000 price difference between the two. The one main feature is the Yamaha Drive, which we just talked about. You know, that feature on its own is worth, in, in other models of boats that has some type of similar thruster system or whatever, usually that's a $10,000 option minimum. The other cool thing you get is this full fiberglass top which again is something very unique to the 27 foot market normally you're paying you know big bucks or you're usually looking at 32 to 35 foot before you're getting that so again a really nice canvas free you know nice finished product fiberglass product um, um, as well and then the other third difference is that this station is a little bit larger a little bit different on the SD model versus the SE so you've got a nice cooler storage you know, uh, a couple different cool little storage compartments in here. Obviously, you've got a sink with running water available too. Um, so that's the difference as you as you jump up to the SD, which, to be honest, in my opinion, that's the way to go. Uh, mostly because of the drive, but also because of the the top. Um, another kind of unique feature, and you obviously as you see pictures of the boat, you see the profile of the boat. This fiberglass windshield on the side is very very unique to a 27 foot boat. Uh, gives the boat different style lines, makes it really really cool looking from the outside. Um, so again, that kind of makes that edgier look and uh, again it's unique to Yamaha particularly on this level of boat. A lot of times you'll find it on you know $250,000, $300,000, $35 footers but you're not going to find it on a boat this size or this price. Again, space is the name of the game here on the 275. Um, almost all of your extra three feet over the top of the 24 footer is going to be in the cockpit area. Um, one other difference on the 275 is that you also have a nine foot beam, so it's a little bit wider. Um, it, it is trailerable, it's not a heavy boat because of the jet engines, um, you know, but you do have to technically get a permit for it to trailer it in the state of Ohio and in most states. Um, but it's only about six inches over, so it's very, very easy to trailer even though it is slightly oversized. Um, it's not big enough that I don't, in, at least in Ohio, you don't need to get an oversized banner or anything on it. You just need to have a permit for it. Um, it's only about six inches wider, but also that six inches of width opens up the cockpit even more. Um, you know, again, very, very large area in here. Also, that extra six inches allowed them to separate the two engines and have this nice walkway from the bow to the transom. Um, so you've got an engine on either side here, um, which is, which is kind of cool. Um, you don't have to step over anything you can walk all the way through. There's also filler cushions that fill in this area. If you want to make this whole area a bed, um, you can do that. Um, from a performance perspective, um, this is the, the exclusive uh, dual engine Yamaha that's going to have uh, the 1.8 liter 1800 cc supercharged engine. So, um, so this one's got the, the two big boy engines in it. Um, performance is excellent. Uh, you know, we got it up you know, today on the water up into the low 50s uh, without much of a problem with a few people on the boat. Um, you know, really, really runs really, 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 really well, I thought. Um, so plenty of power, plenty of performance, um, quick hole shots, everything that Yamaha is known for. Um, and, you know, by doing that, we're able to create this, you know, a little bit better space. Another cool thing as we move is the versatile seating. You can have these seats face forward or backwards. You can adjust them. So if you want to lay out facing backwards, you can do that. You've got a nice grab handle right there too for, you know, to make you feel safe. Um, so both sides do that. Um, so again, that's a, a unique feature uh, to Yamaha on this size boat. 
As we move to the transom of this boat, this is again similar to you know what you're used to seeing from Yamaha. You've got clean, easily accessible clean out ports. You've got the rear seats that you can sit on and kind of face backwards, um, so you can kind of sit here and you know kind of chill out. Um, one of the other cool things that this boat has um, is that there's kind of a dual purpose tow point and boarding area right here where you can actually, your boarding ladder and your grab handle for the boarding ladder is right here, but this is also your tow point for all your water sports. So um, being a 27 foot boat, that's slightly elevated um, and it, you know, it's plenty good enough to ski, wakeboard or tube off of. Um, the other cool unique feature are these two little swim steps um, that come on either side of the engine. You can flip them over and kind of create a little cup holder resting area like this or if you have it down in the water you can just sit on it and you're kind of sitting in the water. So again that's kind of a cool unique feature to Yamaha. That's a patent pending design but again a cool add-on feature. Um, and the last thing I'll talk about are these couple little entry steps. You know depending on the dock height you know sometimes these boats are getting a little bit big to get in and out of but you have a nice entry step um, so you can get in and out of a dock if you have to step down at all. So all in all Obviously, they did a great job on this boat. Um, you know, great performance. Obviously, a lot of luxury. Um, you know, we've got, um, well, I don't know how long we'll have them in stock, but we do have some available on order at Buckeye. So, uh, so we'll have them. Uh, for more information, visit our website at BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. But thanks for taking a look at the 275 SD with us. Thanks again.